Hi, I'm Anthony from Hobbies Picnic. We're here this afternoon at the Dog House in Ballam for our Stockist in the Spotlight series. Here to meet Celine. Hi. Hi, Celine. How are you doing? How are you? I'm good, I'm good. good. How's business? Yeah, really good, thank you. Excellent. Really good. Just to ask you a few questions about yeah. the business. So when did you start the business up? So the business started in September last year. Yeah. And, um, and how's yeah, it going? It's going really well. It's going really well. Thank excellent, you. excellent. Um, so what made you choose pet food and pet products in general? Um, well, um, I've worked here, um, it was a shop before, so I worked here part time. A pet shop? Yeah. Fantastic. So, um, and the groomers was downstairs. And then um, towards the middle of last year, the um, other owner went away and there was an opportunity for me to step in and um, create my okay. own little and shop it looks here. amazing. You've done yeah, a very good you. job. And Love we've got it. the groomers here still and Andrew's moved upstairs a little bit so you might hear some noises some uh, yes, and some barking. Um, um, but um, yeah, so it's working out really Which well. Which must work well for you because yeah. the people coming for the grooming that's exactly. coming through your shop. Yeah, we'll so get a lot of, capture that yeah, audience. Got a lot of free traffic for, for um, Andrew so yeah. it's worked out really well for me and it's this great symbiotic relationship yeah Brilliant. yeah so how long have you stopped Poppy's Picnic um, right from the get-go so I it was a brand that I was really attracted to I wanted to do a raw food um, and then I did some research into yeah. the ones I liked I'd seen the Dragon's Den with yeah. Dylan doing his promotion thing on there yeah. and I thought wow that's great and it's a new product it I was new really well on there. I thought it'd be you know we're all new together yeah, out yeah. in the world of pet yeah, food yeah. so I thought it'd be really nice to take a chance I love the branding I love the colours um, and friends I know have fed their dogs on it so and they all said good things so yeah. I bought some online myself before I opened the shop tried it with my dog who absolutely loved it yeah. Um, Which one, what did you try? Did you try the mints or the meatballs? Yeah, I tried the meatballs select? at the first, meatballs, yeah, yeah. Um, because I wasn't too sure about portion sizes with her. Yeah. So it was a good one to start with, just to get used to how to, to work it and what it looked like. And, yeah, absolutely. And then I, I moved on to the mints because I felt more comfortable just doing it like that and, and it was just no, easier. Yeah. yeah, and I could play around with portion sizes a little bit um, yeah, yeah, yeah. with the mints. And uh, she took to it, absolutely loved it. And um, yeah, there was no going back after that. Yeah. So yeah, and then I obviously made some investigation when I was opening the shop and found out about getting the freezer, yeah. which was great. Which looks really good. Yeah, it looks I'm, really good. I'm in really the, happy it really with works it. with everything else you've got in here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so since um, really since well. opening, have you seen a rise in people coming in and asking for raw food? in general? Yes, definitely. Um, it's something that I really promote. Obviously now I feed my dog on raw. Yeah. Um, it's something Which is I like to talk to people about. Itself. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think raw is a really good way to go with people who have fussy eaters and puppies. Yeah. It's just an easy option for people yeah. to try if yeah. they're unsure about how to yeah. feed their dog. I and it's a lovely natural food. It's obviously the dog is yeah. already set up to digest the meat, it's not a challenge for them. So I think the word's getting out there, isn't it, about the benefits of a raw diet. Yeah, so absolutely. More and more people coming Yeah, out with humans it. as well. Yeah. And so it does translate really well into dogs and they talk you know, you, you know, you can really gloss on that ethos yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that puppies have. So if you had a customer coming in and they heard about raw food, wasn't quite sure, um, you use raw food yourself, so what would you what would your advice be? Would you? Um, yeah, it's a really good, like I say, it's a really good one to just try. So, you know, because I obviously uh, I can sell people just one packet, so they can go away, they can give it a go, they can try it straight away. Yeah. You don't have to mix it in with anything, you don't have to take time. It's yeah. something they can go straight yeah. onto yeah. from a kibble, from a wet food, and go straight onto the raw. Um, and if it works, it's away you go, you know. So, um, what comes out the other end is much nicer. Exactly. Always exactly. talk about that. Part, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And it's so important, it really no, is. No, it really is. And it just makes life a lot nicer. Yeah, yeah definitely. Well, thanks, Celine. Thank you. To find your nearest stockist, um, just pop onto the Poppies Picnic website and put your postcode in.